Hi, let's see how to fix the face it forbidden driver error. Are you also getting the error? Forbidden driver face it has become a very popular gaming platform that provides the ability to create the competitive CS. Go games outside of the Valve's established matchmaking system. But many are encountering the errors on Faceit every now and then. Among all these errors, the Faceit Forbidden Driver error. So, whenever you get this kind of error, you see the screen like this. So, let's see what causes the Faceit Forbidden Driver error. The Forbidden Driver error could occur due to some of the reasons, such as multi versus software, keyboard drivers. The error may arise if you are using the keyboard splitter to play multi versus with the keyboard. So let's see how to fix the face it forbidden driver error. The first method is restart your device. One of the simplest methods what you can follow is to restart your device. Restarting your device helps to resolve error message but it depends on the nature of the error and underlying cause. Many are able to get rid of the face it forbidden driver error just by restarting the system. So you could also try same. Second method is delete and reinstall the keyboard driver. You can reinstall the keyboard driver from your device manager. All you need to do is just delete it, unplug your keyboard and then restart your PC. When it comes to login screen, just plug in. If your keyboard won't work and you have a password, use virtual keyboard and login. Go back to the device manager and check for the updates. But Windows should automatically check everything for you from the time you log in. Third method is un uninstall the multi versus from your PC. It may be a multi versus that's causing the conflict, just uninstall it from the PC. Follow some of the methods for this type. Add or remove program in the window search bar and then click on it. Scroll down to the list of the install program and find multi -verses. Click on uninstall button. This will open the uninstallation wizard. Click on the confirm to remove software. This which will remove the computer. Fourth method is update your face it AC. If your error is not fixed, then you have to move to the next step is to update your face it AC. After doing this, the problem will get fixed because Many have tried the method and are able to get rid of the error. The fifth method is update the window. If restarting your device and updating face it AC does work does not work for you, then this may solve your issue. You need to you need all the updates to be installed, only the latest security update for the Windows. You can find these updates in this particular website catalog.update.microsoft.com. Sixth method is contact the Faceit support team. If you have tried all other troubleshooting methods, but if you are still facing the problem, you can contact the support team. They will be able to assist you. They are the expertise. They can give you the guidance to the every specific problem. Okay. So that's all about this. Thank you.